Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Take and Make video. This week's project is Borax Crystals. In your kit, you'll find that we have the half a cup of Borax. I'll open that up then. Half a cup of Borax. We have pipe cleaners. We have two wooden dowels. Oops, forgot one. All right. And two wooden dowels. A couple feet of fishing line. There's the other pipe cleaner. All right, so we have everything out of our kit. What else will we need? You're also gonna need two cups of water in a bowl or a dish. You'll need some food coloring. It's optional. If you wanna try and color your crystal, you'll use food coloring to do it. And you're gonna need some cups that are tall and wide enough to contain your crystal. For your first step, you'll want to heat up two cups of water in the microwave, or you could bring them to a boil on the stovetop. Um, if you put it in the microwave, put it in for about like three minutes. We want to heat up the water uh, to the, as hot as we can get it. Next, you're just going to pour in the half cup of borax into the hot water. Start stirring it up and dissolve as much as you can into the water. So now that you have mixed that borax up into the water and made it a super saturated solution, we are going to take the pipe cleaners and we're going to make them into a spiral about the size of your hand. So the next thing you're going to do is take that fishing line and you're going to cut two small pieces, enough to tie one end of the line to the middle of the dowel and the other end to your rolled up pipe cleaner that you just made. So while you are tying up your pipe cleaner with your fishing line, you want to make sure that the fishing line is keeping the pipe cleaner off the bottom of the cup and that it also does not touch the side of the cups. Next you can add your borax solution to your cups. If you want to try to use food coloring to color your crystals, you can add it to the solution in the cups as well. If you're using a dark color pipe cleaner like we have today, your crystal is going to end up being about the same color as the pipe cleaner. If you're using white or a lighter color, you can try and add some food coloring into the water to change the color of your crystal, but add a lot of food coloring so you get a nice dark mixture. All right, so since these are bright colored pipe cleaners, we're not going to use any food coloring, and we're going to place that pipe cleaner into the cup and make sure that it doesn't touch the sides. It wants You want to make sure that it hangs in there, kind of floating all by itself, not touching the sides or the bottom of the cup. So now let your pipe cleaner sit for 12 to 24 hours. The longer you can leave it and not touch it, the better results you're going to have. So after 12 to 24 hours, when your crystal's formed, you're just going to lift it out and you're going to cut it off of that fishing line. And you'll have your own crystal. So where do the crystals come from? They come from that super saturated solution that we made with water and borax. We've heated up the water and then microwave around the stovetop and makes all the water molecules move around really fast. And in doing so, it allows the borax to actually be, go in between the water molecules. As the water molecules start to cool, that's why we have to wait for like 12 or 24 hours until it all cools, what it does is it pushes the borax back out and it looks for things to cling to. That's why we have to make sure that the pipe cleaner is not touching the cup. And since the pipe cleaner is in there and all of that fuzziness around the pipe cleaner, 
and it, it has something for the borax to grab onto and it's kind of escape out of the water molecule as it cools. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing all the crystals form because the borax pushed out of the water mo molecules. Thank you.